Joining me right now on Kumute Radio is Win Ha. She's a 21-year-old that will be making her professional debut on One Warrior Series on October 11th in Singapore. What's going on, Win? Not too much. How are you? Good, good. Uh, I want to first talk about 2017, the Commonwealth Championships in South Africa. How was mm -hmm. that experience representing your country? That was uh, one of the best experiences I've had competition-wise. It's just amazing. the um, Just the high level of athletes that were there uh, and the caliber of all the people who came. Last year at the Bangkok Trials for One Warrior Series, Rich Franklin told you that you weren't ready. You have some gaps in your game, and you weren't accepted to the sh you know to the to the series. What mm -hmm. were the emotions like when you went back home? Um, I was a bit sad, of course, because I had travelled from Phuket to Bangkok for it. I was hoping to get selected, obviously. And when he said that I had gaps in my game, I knew that that was the truth. I knew I had things to work on. So after you know, going home, thinking about it. I just uh, wanted to train hard. And then, you know, he didn't say that you're not signed, that's it. He just said, maybe in six months time on the second series and you'll be better then and we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. So that, that was like a little light at the end of the tunnel, you know, yeah. So those comments kind of pushed you and drived you the last few months to train harder? Yes, for sure. I just went back because I didn't have I didn't really have any fight plans or I wasn't signed to anything. So I just knew that I had to train hard and get better. But you actually did have a fight on last May, one Shin Cup in Bangkok. You went in there, you steamrolled your opponent. You landed about 5,000 body shots. <laughs> could, could that have went any, you know, any, any more perfect for you, that fight? Yeah, I mean... I think very soon after that fight, I got the call from 1FC and they said, uh, we'd like to have you on our show. And I think that that fight was important for me. Just to, for them to see that I have improved and I have gotten better and worked on the things that they told me to work on. So it kind of validated all the hard work that you put in the last couple of months when you performed so well and they gave you the phone call. Yeah, for sure. So your professional debut, One Warrior Series, October 11th, it's a long time in the making. How does it feel to finally be stepping into the ring? Uh, yeah, as you said, it is a long time in the making. You know, I've trained MMA for almost six years and it's to be my first professional MMA fight. I was scheduled to fight two years ago and that fell through, so... It's like it's finally coming together and I'm glad it's happening now, not before. I'm glad all those things happened because as a martial artist, I've become so much better. Preparations for October 11th. What changes have you made to your routine since you are in fight camp? Not too much, just uh, up the volume a little bit, uh, eating a bit better and adding some cardio. You seem to have incorporated yoga. What benefits have you been yeah. noticing? So I've been working with my friend Adrian who runs WTF Yoga and it's not really your stock standard kind of yoga, namaste, that sort of stuff. It's really, uh, it's really about recovery. You know, a lot of people do recoveries different ways like uh, ice baths or massages, but the way that Adrian works is she just focuses on getting the body to rest. You know, we push our body so hard at training and she just wants to, you know, during our sessions, she just relaxes everything. It seems like you have a very good relationship with some of your sparring partners, especially Claudia Diaz. She is a striker and you're more based in the grappling department. Do you guys feed it off each other very well when you're training together? Yeah, I mean, at the start, uh, last year when Claudia came to MMA, she didn't really have any grappling mm -hmm. and over time you know uh I can see her improving every single day every single day it's harder to take her down that sort of stuff and as well as for me she says that she can see my strike and get better so it's perfect you know she might be a little bit bigger than me but we work because the other person fills in the gap that we need to work on 
Yeah, and it seems like you guys both fought on one Shin Cup, and now you guys are both debuting together. It must feel yeah. good to do yeah. everything together. It's always better to have somebody there with you, kind of enjoying the moment, right? Yeah, I mean, I had my first amateur MMA fight in Pattaya. Claudia was there. She also fought one Shin Cup, also together, and this time Singapore at one Warrior Series. So it's great to have someone who's kind of been through, you know, been through it with you the whole way. What type of performance are you expecting out of yourself in your debut? I think it's going to be an exciting performance. I want it to be an exciting performance. I, I think it will be. I think it'll be an exciting performance. I think I'm going to do pretty well. Uh, I think I'm bigger than my opponent. So, you know, people see me as a grappler, but I'm looking to outstrike her as well. All right. October 11th, Singapore One Warrior Series. Win Ha will be making her professional debut. Thank you for your time, Win, and uh, good luck on your fight. Thank you for having me.